Good afternoon. Hello out there, vinyl community. I hope everyone is doing well. It's Sunday afternoon here in Texas. I'm back with another video. This is another contest entry video. A big push for 700 subscribers. He might be there already, but I'm sure if he's not, he will be. Nick Rodeau, I hope I said his last name correctly, has a contest. Uh, Nick, a few things that I know about him is that he is a big fan of Jefferson Airplane. I'm a big fan of that period too. I'm not too much into the Starship. I love the Jefferson uh, Airplane period. Uh, he's also lives in Texas like me. And he's a great participator in the live streams. So he wants us to talk about at least five cover, um, cover tune versions of songs that we think are better than the original. And so I have chosen five. So let me begin. My first choice is Jimi Hendrix. And I think you know which one I'm going to say. Along the Watchtower. It is a cover of Bob Dylan's song from his album, Bob Dylan's uh, John Wesley Hardy. Hard. Anyway, I, I don't know if I remember, remember saying that right. Saying that right, but yes, uh, Jimi Hendrix does a very on fire. I mean, he names it and claims it and makes it his own with "Along the Watchtower," which is the first time I ever heard that on the radio as a youngster. It blew me away. I didn't want the song to end. Dylan's version is just a nice little, uh, nice little swing, kickback, rock, folk type sounding uh, song. It's not bad or anything, but when you hear this one, you know, you are going to go with this version. I'm sure I'm pretty comfortable in saying that. In fact, I even I even remember hearing, and I don't remember the quote that Bob Dylan said it was the most electrifying version he's ever heard. So that's my first one, "Long the Watchtower," Jimi Hendrix. My second one comes from one of my favorite classic rock albums in my list. Um, it's Zeppelin doing um, the big Willie Dixon tune. You shook me from Zepp one or just Led Zeppelin. But yeah, the blue sound uh, that is uh, originally Willie Dixon. It's a really good blues version. But Zeppelin here, they they power it up. They give it heavy guitar playing, bass playing keyboards and then the awesome drumming of John Bonham I mean they rock it I mean this is like one song like you'd wish that you would hear them play at the house of blues just a, a they just uh, make this song their own and I'm just thinking that um, they didn't must have not had very many original tunes to do but that was a very good choice and I really uh, enjoy hearing live versions of it. The third one. Yeah, one of my favorite bands. It's the Birds. It's from Fifth Dimension. It's Hey Joe. I know we've heard the Jimi Hendrix version of it, but I, I like Hey Joe a lot. I like the way the Birds do it. They make it like if they wrote the song themselves. You know, that real nice jangly pop, folk sounding, um, just a, all around a good song. You know, I mean, I would even go, on, go as far as to say, I wish it would have been um, released as a single. I think it would have, done, would have done very well with them, for them, excuse me. My fourth one. Now, this one, when I, I'm thinking about when this song came out. 
I was still in high school, and I'm thinking for folks who are big fans of this man, you know, I kind of wondering what the radio listeners were like when they first heard this song. I'm thinking that a majority of them thought this was a an original Van Halen composition. That's right. I'm talking about the album Diver Down Van Halen. And um, the tune that I'm talking about, Dancing in the Street. Martha and the Ben Dwellers, I believe, right? That's their song, I think, uh, but could be wrong. But yeah, their cover version of Dancing in the Street, it just... It just kicks ass. It does. I love everything about it. I love that they made uh, such a rock and roll song meant to be played on the radio. And it still gets played a lot, at least around here. Now my last one, my favorite band, The Who. I love the way they do this uh, version of the song. I love it more and um like the other one, I love this one, their version more than the original version. So, if there's one story that I love, it's the story of The Who. <laughs> and I'm talking about their remake uh, of the cover song, but I think this one might be the Martha and the Velen Dwellers. I'm getting mixed up. Sorry, folks. I'm sure someone's going to correct me. I'm talking about their version of Heat Wave. I love the way The Who covers that song. The vocals of Roger Daltrey, um, the backing vocals, they give it that real nice, they, they stick to a real soulful version of it. Um, just like what you get when you hear the uh, Motown version of the song. Heat Wave, I'm gonna, and the version that The Who does, I'm gonna say it's a mod, Motown version mod done in a mod style um, I think it was released as a single I think it was the B side or A side of one of the songs like the last time or under my thumb one of those I'm, I'm forgetting my facts on that but heat wave go check out this tune uh, the way the who does it I'm, I got a good feeling you're gonna really like their version more than the Motown version Okay, there's my five. And um, those are the ones that I've chosen. And like uh, always, uh, thank you all. I am going to leave a link to Nick's channel so you can go sub him up, check out his other videos, and check out his, uh, his um, vinyl finds. And I uh, really think you will enjoy his channel. Um, congratulations, Nick. But here are my five. So I do want to end by saying I hope I win. But if I don't, that's cool. It was a lot of fun. Take care, everybody. See you on my next video.